The following program is rated U for universal audiences and is considered suitable for listeners of all ages. This is a presentation of Dream Realm Enterprises, where dreams are our reality. to Q Who. I'm your host, John Russell. Today, we are going to talk about the recent release of the audio book on CD of The Keys of Marinus. This uh, was a novelization that was uh, written by uh, Philip Hinchcliffe. Um, kind of an odd choice, you might think, for uh, novelizing a Hartnell story. But uh, he does a very good job of, of being very faithful to the, the television serial. Um, he, doesn't, uh, he, he doesn't go out of his way to change a whole lot or add a lot to it, except towards the end, um, which he really does kind of just... I mean, it's, it's not a major thing, but just slightly... Um, describe the ending a bit <laughs> in more detail, more graphic detail as to uh, uh, without giving too much away what, what happens to the characters as it were. So uh, yeah, it, it's an interesting uh, ending in the way that he writes it because he really describes um every detail of uh, the ultimate fate of the villain. So uh, that kind of in true Hinchcliffe style, and it's kind of the only time in the, the whole novelization that he does this. Um, you know, it, uh, the rest of the time, the entire story, like I said, is very faithful to the serial, um, he doesn't omit anything. He, you know, he doesn't uh, condense anything. It's, it's just um, a very true adaptation. You would almost think Terrence Dix was writing it until right at the end. Um, so the ending is a little bit different than the televised version, but it doesn't stray too far. So um, it's it's actually a very well written uh, novelization. Uh, and as I said, faithful adaptation, and uh, it really clicks along. It, it, I I really found myself enjoying the book a lot more than the serial. The serial is one I've always had a kind of love hate relationship with because uh, it's it starts out interestingly enough, and then it seems uh, to get bogged down in episode two. And then episodes three and four, I've always really enjoyed. I thought those were the best episodes of the whole uh, serial. And then the last two have always kind of put me to sleep because it's really just this courtroom drama for two episodes. And uh, it really moves a lot smoother in the book, especially with this reading. And it's uh, read by Jamie Glover who played uh, Ian in the TV movie that they did back for the 50th anniversary, uh, An Adventure in uh, Space and Time, which was uh, the story of how Doctor Who got started and uh, how William Hartnell got cast and so forth. So um, uh, Jamie Glover played the actor who was playing um, uh, William Russell, in that movie. And uh, so he's been reading uh, a few of these novels lately. And uh, he actually does a really good job. Um, I really enjoyed, I really enjoy his reading. He did, he also did The Reign of Terror recently too. And, and he did a fantastic job there. Um, so he really gives a good performance in the book, um, reading it. And uh, so, yeah, it's it's a very enjoyable 
um, listen. It doesn't drag on like uh, you might expect with uh, some of these. Um, a couple of these uh, novelizations have kind of dragged a bit. Um, but uh, this one actually came together very well. Um, they, they really did a good job. Um, Philip, Chim Philip Hinchcliffe um, novelized this back in the late 70s. And uh, it's finally coming out on, on audiobook CD and, of course, digital. Um, but I grabbed the audio CD. It hasn't been released in America yet. I think it's supposed to come out at the first of the year here, somewhere around February, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I don't have that information in front of me, so forgive me. But it's January, February, somewhere in there. Um, we always get these audiobooks a few months later than the UK does. So I don't know why. And they usually release, you know, a few of them at the same time rather than one a month as they get them over there. Um, but at any rate, um, yeah, this was a, a really good one. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I sadly couldn't, you know, I wasn't able to listen to it while I was trying, you know, I'm tr I've been trying to listen to all of the audiobooks in story order. Um, but it, you know, it was, it's only been recently released. So kind of really, I'm kind of listening to it out of order. I had the, the, the last one I listened to was <laughs> the time meddler. And now I had to jump back to the keys of Marinus, but, uh, it didn't hurt it a bit as far as, uh, being able to get back into it. Um, considering in the books and in the series, uh, Ian and Barbara have just left <laughs> as far as where I was and Stephen had just uh, come on board the TARDIS so to go back and, and revisit the Keys of Marinus it wasn't too bad at all because it was a very enjoyable reading by uh, Jamie Glover and uh, I think I think he's a he's a good uh, he's a good choice for reading some of these these novels I do kind of prefer it when William Russell actually does it but I'm, you know, maybe he wasn't available for this. I don't know. Here lately, they um, have been using uh, people that weren't in the stories. Um, traditionally, for these audiobooks, they've been getting people who are actually in the in the stories. So a lot of the Hartnell range, especially for the for the first two seasons, they've kind of gone back and forth between William Russell. And uh, Carol Ann Ford, and then, uh, you know, in season two, um, Maureen O'Brien stepped in and read some of them, a couple of them at least. And, uh, yeah, they, they've kind of gone back and forth with them. And then, of course, once Peter Purvis came in, he started reading a number of them as well, which, you know, I, I haven't quite gotten to all of those yet. Um, but anyway, uh, this one... I, I can highly recommend it's a it's a solid uh, audio book it's a solid novelization um, Philip Hinchcliffe did a great job adapting it Jamie Glover did a great job of reading it and the BBC did a really good job of uh, bringing it to life with sound effects and, and music as they do with these things they don't overdo the sound effects and music but it just seems to come in at the right moments and that makes these uh, audiobooks that much more enjoyable. So, yeah, definitely check it out if you haven't. And if you if you enjoy the Keys of Marinus or you enjoy the Hartnell uh, era, you'll enjoy this audiobook. It's it's uh, it's it's a really good one. And uh, I give it a solid um, three Tardises out of five. I, I kind of want to, I think I kind of want to give it three and a half when I stop and think about it because it was very well done. So three and a half TARDISes out of five. I, I quickly reassessed it there, but um, yeah, it was, it was solid. It was solid. It's very good. So uh, yeah, that's, that's that. Um, I am uh, going to be reviewing a couple more things this year coming out so we're almost towards the end of uh this this season of q who uh which is uh basically season two 
And, uh, yeah, I've been trying to do these regularly, but uh, there's a uh, documentary coming out called Doctor Who Am I, which uh, is which which looks takes a close look at uh, the TV movie and the making of it. And uh, I have pre-ordered that, and uh, that should be coming in uh, in the next month. And I will review that for you. And then soon thereafter, my understanding is that we're going to get uh, the Season 2 box set uh, and the Blu-rays and the limited edition set, which I have pre-ordered as well. And that should be coming out somewhere, I think, in mid-November. That is kind of the indication. That's that's not been officially announced, but um, I, I'm, I'm kind of... It's kind of my guess and my gut feeling that that's when that's happening because they're having a BFI event right at the end of October here. So usually within you know a few days or a couple of weeks, they release the box sets when they have an event centered around the box sets. So I think by mid-November we will have it. So I will review those and uh, then uh, that will pretty much wrap up the year for... Uh, Q Who. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this series or not. I know I started a big watch through and, of course, the listen through with the audiobooks, and I said I would do that on this show, but um, it, it, I'm not sure if people are responding to it or not. I'm not sure if you guys are enjoying this. Um, if you are and you want to see this series continue, this podcast to continue, then please do let me know. Um, you know, drop us a line at darkbuilding1 at yahoo.com. Um, that is dark building spelled out with the numeral one at yahoo.com with a subject header, you know, um, Q who or something like that. And uh, just, just let us know if you do enjoy this podcast and you do want to see a or hear a third season of it. Um, or if you don't, you can you can also let us know. Or you can comment on YouTube and uh, let us know that uh, you do or you do not want to see this continue. Because it just seems like the um, the views on YouTube have kind of gone down. It was it was pretty strong at first, but then lately it seems like the views have gone down a bit. So I just kind of wonder if maybe uh, you guys are getting tired of these, or you don't like the uh, direction in that it's going, or you, you don't want to hear my take on my watch through and so forth which is fine um but uh you know if if there's some aspect of this that you do enjoy let me know if there's some aspect of this that turns you off and you don't enjoy it you can also let us know but i appreciate you guys tuning in and uh yeah please give us some feedback Uh, go to dreamrealmsite.com and uh, if you didn't catch that um that uh, email address and you'll find it on the the front page there how to get in touch with us through email or you again you can go to youtube and comment there i always read the comments and respond accordingly so thanks guys we really appreciate it we will be back with you very soon when doctor who am i comes out or, or some other news concerning classic who should happen to drop because you just never know all right Until the next time, guys, you know the drill. Please stay tuned. You have been listening to a fan production for Dream Realm Enterprises. This is a not-for-profit program.